And many of times we don't know the value of exercise, especially to our health. World Health Organization made us to understand that if you exercise daily, 30 minutes every day, you are going to increase your lifespan by 10 years. So you could see the reason why our forefathers were living longer. Because one way or the other, they have to trek to farm maybe five miles per day. And because of that, they are increasing their life lifespan. So they can live till 100 years, live till 120, live till 130. But with the advent of cars and motorbikes, we are not trekking again. And one thing we have done to ourselves is to reduce our world, our lifespan. And one of the easiest exercises that you can do is to what? Is to trek. Trekking has been found to be what every one of us can do. And that's why the younger ones are always healthier than the older ones. Because the older you become, then you have what we call sedentary lifestyle. You just sit in your office, you don't have to be moving around again, but you have to trek from one place to one to another. And the beautiful thing about removing subsidy is that Nigerians are going to live longer because Nigerians are going to trek longer. So the more they trek, the more they will be born, they will be living. So there's a need for us to understand the benefits of trekking. Now, what are the what are the benefits your body will enjoy with trekking? Number one, it will increase the blood flow to your blood. I mean, to your brain. And by increasing the blood flow to your brain, it makes you mentally alert. And not only that, it is also good to prevent depression. People that exercise very well have been known to be far away from depression because there's a particular chemical that has been known to be antidepressant. We call it serotonin. So when you trek, it increases the serotonin into yeah, your I'm brain, busy. and before you I'm know busy. it, depression will be far away from you. The other thing it happens is that it will reduce fat in your blood. And when it reduces fat in your blood, which we call cholesterol, it will prevent you from having what we call stroke. Because at times, stroke in the brain is because of fats that have blocked the blood supply to your brain. The other thing it does is that it increases the activity of your heart. It reduces high blood pressure, as the case may be, if you can dress very well. People that don't exercise have been known to be far away from diabetes because there is a way exercises can improve your insulin production and make sure that you are far away from diabetes. It has also been known that it helps your kidney. People that don't exercise are far away from kidney failures are far away from kidney problems. That is what has been confirmed. And we also know that people that do exercises, they are also, it helps you to shed your weight. One way to shed your weight is to do exercise. And apart from exercise, you need to drink more water. The more water you take, the more the fat in your body are burnt up and you'll be able to stay fit. And another thing exercise does, it has been known that it improves sleep. People that exercise very well don't have problems with sleeping. They normally sleep naturally. Their sleep has been very fine. And another thing about it is that exercise has been known to also help your sleep. People that exercise very well normally have a good libido and they don't have what we call sexual failure. So with that, it shows that you and I, the more we do this, not just once in a while, but regularly, let us do it regularly because exercise will not benefit you if you just do it once in a week, if you do it once in a month, or if you do it once fortnightly. Exercise will only benefit you if you do it daily. Trekking at least 30 minutes every day, as I've said, will increase your lifespan for how many years? 10 years. So as you do this delay, as you do this every day, I see your lifespan increasing by additional then yeah. Thank you for listening and God bless you. I don't know how to start than to thank uh, God Almighty, the most high, the most beneficial, and the most benevolent. This is one of our initiatives, and that uh, we wanted to postpone this initiative. 
course of the VSA, I started this, I talked to him that uh, uh, we should start this kind of judging so that uh, staff and students that will be a, a way of missing together to discuss and to also exercise. Like Dr. has said, exercise is something you cannot play with. Uh, students, you appear to benefit more, particularly with the removal of subsidy. I usually look at the students where they complain that uh, from that uh, gate to the other gate is 200 naira, where you have your leg to trek. You can trek uh, from Morita when you get to the school there. Why can't you trek to various uh, classrooms to reduce and to save the cost of a uh, running bike? And that's what we have started. That uh, let's start this uh, initiative. Let's be jogging, let's be walking, so that uh, we can know one another, so that we can know your rector, we can know staff that are around. Because it's not good when you pass through the system without knowing the life of medical director. You know the DSA regularly. I know there are so many staff here that you need to acquaint yourself with. So today we have started. It's going to be a regular routine. And we can't do it weekly because of a lot of activities that are happening. But monthly, we will be doing it. And I'll show you. The one we will do next, a lot of other people shall join us. And we are going to do it together. Particularly when your exams is coming. You needed to know that, uh, you needed to, when you work, when you jog, what will happen is that you, uh, something, your brain will be active. You are going to remember what you are taught in the classroom. And uh, you forget that, uh, what they say? All work and no play. <laughs> Make what? <laughs> Make that a dog So sometimes when you read that, read that, read, you need to come out, walk, exercise yourself. Because today is historical. Is it not historical? You have just started. And uh, you know among yourself in the future, Many of you will be governor, many of you will be minister, even the president of the nation. So that why can't you interact? So we need to interact and all that. So let me end this speech by thanking all the students that are able to participate to the great test of your students. Great test of the great test of your students. Great test of the great test of the students. Great that may be judging life here. We've been singing a lot of wonderful uh, music and all that. Thank you and God bless you. And the cadet also. The cadet, you are also there. We want to thank you for what you are doing. Uh, you are doing so well and I like that. I must particularly thank the superiors and all the security units that are around, even the medical. Medical, I was surprised they are also following us and that uh, to see that whether we are going to have emergency. Thank God we don't have any 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 emergency. Uh, I want to thank you. And everyone, my friend, Pastor Musa, I'm grateful to you, DSA, and you are very grateful. We are just starting today. It's going to be better tomorrow. Thank you and God bless you.